right, it's time again for Blueprint. On Fridays, we take a look at successful and savvy entrepreneurs, fresh ideas, and businesses that have taken off. Today, we are speaking with the CEO of AppNexus. It's a display ad bidding company. It just raised $50 million from Microsoft and others in a third round of financing. The CEO of the company is right here with me, Brian O'Kelly. He is the founder and the CEO. And Brian, we have to ask you, What's next for the company? But we, before we want to do that, in about three years' time, you went from startup to becoming the gold standard in your field. How did you do it so fast? Or I guess if you want to add a dash of modesty, is that the way that it happens now in the tech world? Well, it's, uh, it's been a quite fast three years. Um, three years ago when we started the company, we were coming off the sale of Right Media, which I co-founded to Yahoo. So I'd say it helps to have done it before. Uh, raising the kind of money we've just raised from Microsoft and other folks has been really a validation. And I think you're right, we've become the gold standard for this space. But it's taken a lot of hard work and doing it before doesn't hurt. Brian, for people who don't know your company well, when you log on to a website, let's just say AOL, there are ads at the bottom, those are the display ads. So basically that is what your company does. Yeah, so when you go to AOL or other major websites, uh, when you see the content display, you see an ad at the same time but it's not really at the same time. AppNexus, in the blink of an eye between when you load the page and see the ad, auctions off that ad to thousands of advertisers. And so I'm assuming on their side it has to be done algorithmically, right? With demographics included. Right, and that's exactly what AppNexus does. We sell the software to these advertisers that lets them actually figure out when to buy ads and when not to. All right, so you just got $50 million. What are you gonna do with it? Well, we're hiring like crazy. Um, we've been growing in Europe and the US. We're investing heavily in our core technology platform, and uh, we're just gonna keep growing as fast as we can. I know this year you went from about, what, 25 employees? You're now up around 65, is that right? Yeah, and we've got five more starting on Monday. And just out of curiosity, I mean, how many of these people are, for example, writing algorithms or helping, or how many people are more the marketing sales side? Well, I think we have about 25 engineers today doing algorithms, doing uh, data collection, doing analytics. Actually, one of the hardest things about serving so many ads every day is the amount of data that we collect. Uh, we've partnered with companies like Netiza, who handles, uh, I think, maybe 50 or 60 terabytes of data for us. And so we're investing more and more, not just how to serve ads and to choose the, the right advertiser, but also how to understand all the data that comes out of the back end. Brian, you mentioned gathering all this data and, and helping companies understand it, yourselves included. What about privacy? I mean, this has become a huge issue for all the companies that are in your sector. I mean, I'm assuming you don't release data that is personal, but you still have to release the standard stats that make marketers happy. Right. Yeah, I believe very strongly that no personally identifiable information should ever be used in advertising. We've made that a policy. It's something we have contractually with all of our clients and partners, is we won't use it. And I don't think anybody should. So essentially, you could put my name or my salary, but not necessarily, or rather not my name, not my address, but you could put age, gender, salary. Those things are industry standard. Yeah, those are standard and they're used in every industry. All right. Some of the um, companies that you're doing business with right now, and I guess the Microsoft connection is particularly interesting because you and Microsoft were had a client relationship, and now they are giving you money. And this is not the first time that this has happened for your company. Right. Yeah. Microsoft has been a client of ours using our technology to help them choose and run advertising in real time. So AppNexus has been helping them make their advertising more efficient for almost a year now. And they saw the effectiveness of what AppNexus was doing and said, hey, let's give these guys money to go and expand their platform and build uh, to the next stage. It, two years ago, there were no impressions being served real time on the internet. And now they're four billion a day. This industry has grown from nothing to more than a billion dollars in two years. And I think Microsoft saw that and said, hey, AppNexus is the leader in this space. Let's see what they can do with $50 million. Brian, thanks so much for coming in and telling us your story. Brian O'Kelly joining us there. He is the AppNexus CEO.